Hi guys, it's Kayla. Look what's back. Amnesia. This time we're going to be going in with Toma's route. And from what I hear, he's kind of a yandere. So good luck to us. Let's get started. Diamond World. August 1st. I'll return you to the place you were before. Let's go. Huh? Huh? What? What? Something's pulling me. Ow! My head, my shoulder. That really hurt. Wait, what is this place? Huh, what? Wait, Kayla? Huh, what? What's wrong? Are you okay? What happened to you? Kayla? Who is this person? Do you know him? It's okay now. We'll go home together. You must have been lost for a long time. Were you scared? Don't cry. You're okay now. I'll walk home with you. If anything scary happens from now on, just call for me. I'll protect you from anything scary, Kayla. I promise. Toma? Are you okay? Kayla? Ah, uh, I'm so dizzy. Was that a memory of yours just now? It's good that a memory came back to you already, but what the heck is going on here? I was returning you to your room, but then, out of nowhere, I needed to make an emergency landing. Ah, <sighs> wait, what? Hey, are you not able to see me? Does that mean I've been pushed out of your consciousness pretty far? In other words, that memory just now was very important to you. Hey, can you hear me? Are you okay? Could this guy be the boy who was in that memory? Toma, was it? I guess it'd be natural for you to remember the past when you saw his face. Yep, yep. And you still know him now, even after all this time. The two of you must really get along. You seem really dazed, and I don't think you have anemia. You probably hit your head. I'm taking you to a hospital, got it? Huh? A hospital? No, wait. The hospital's bad. She's okay. There's nothing wrong. Stop it. I don't want to go to a hospital. What do you mean you don't want to go? You hit your head and you fainted. I can't just leave you like this. Yeah, I know that's the right thing to say, but we can't go there. Mind going in a taxi? Let's go, Kayla. Well, wait. Wait a moment. Please give us some time to think of an excuse. One hour later. So you said you discovered her collapsed on the roadside? Yes, we had plans to meet for lunch, but when I arrived at our meeting place, she'd fainted. I understand. And she was face up. There's a high possibility that she hit the back of her head. Her name is... Ah, uh, it's written here. Is she a student? She's a first year at Mioga University. We're on summer break now. Okay, university student. Mm -hmm. Any pre-existing conditions? None that I know of. It could be anemia. I'll run some basic tests. If she hit her head, we'll need to be cautious for some time. Does she live alone? Any family? Her parents live far away for work. She lives alone. I see. Then I suppose we should keep her at the hospital a while. <sighs> Thanks for answering all that stuff, Toma. They said they'll keep you at the hospital to run some more tests. It's good we're on summer break right now. You don't have any surface injuries. Do you hurt anywhere? Excuse me, have you finished taking her temperature? Oh yes, here, it's 36.2 degrees Celsius. Okay, 36.2 degrees Celsius. Thank you. She's staying for observation, I see. Do you happen to have an insurance card? I'll bring it over. It's in your purse, isn't it? And I think you left it at home. I'm gonna borrow your house key for a bit. That's okay, right, Kayla? I understand. If the patient happens to be in an examination when you return, please deliver it to the nurse's station. You're a very kind boyfriend. It might have been better to keep her at your house for observation. Oh, oh, it's not like that. I'm sorry for the confusion. Huh? I see. So that means Toma isn't your boyfriend? Then is he just a friend? Then is he just a friend? It seems like you've known him since you were kids. Anyway, I'll get going now. If you need anything, call me. Huh, a note? It's my cell phone number. I'll come as soon as you call. There's no need to worry. She could always call for a nurse. She'll be okay. Yes, of course, but still. Anyway, I'll come back tomorrow. Get plenty of rest. Could you please change into this hospital gown? We'll be taking your blood pressure and an x-ray later. 
Ah, we've suddenly been thrown into a bad situation. But it's true that you hit your head, so it wouldn't hurt to have those tests done. Hmm, your head still hurts a little. I just hope the worst that happens is that you get a little bump. Oh right, I merged with you so I can feel everything you feel. Because of that, even though I don't have a body, I'm able to share in your senses and experience things like pain and cold. But don't worry, if you ever want some private time, I can always cut the connection for a while. And I'm pretty good at reading the mood. Okay, that should conclude the test for today. Please get plenty of rest tonight. Good night. Thanks. If there aren't any issues, I wonder if you'll get out tomorrow. Oh right, do you want to check your cell phone? You might be able to find out some details about your friends. Let's see, where is it? Huh? Where could it be? Did you leave it behind? Can you see it anywhere? It's not here. It's likely that you left it at home. We'll just look for it when you get back. Wait, huh? Now that I think about it, didn't Toma write his number on a piece of paper and hand it to you earlier? Does that mean that Toma realized you weren't carrying your cell phone with you? Oh well, we can't help it if you don't have your cell phone. Let's just go to sleep for now. I hope we can leave the hospital tomorrow. Oh, that's so cute. I'm so nervous for the Andre parts because Toma's so adorable. August 2nd. Good morning. Over here! You can't see me, but I'm right next to you! Have you forgotten about me? Nah, I doubt you've forgotten that much, right? But you sure slept a lot, although I guess the only thing to do in the hospital is sleep. I wonder if they'll do more tests today. I doubt they'll just come in and be like, okay, you can leave now. Hmm? Is someone coming? Good morning, are you feeling well? We were planning to do an MRA today, but the machine has been having some problems this morning. We'll have to take the MRI tomorrow, I'm very sorry. I'll come back to take your temperature after breakfast. Just relax and rest for today. No way! Our situation's just getting worse and worse. With this total lack of simulation, your mind will just keep getting duller. Well, I guess it wouldn't be good if you left the hospital without taking those tests and, and there ended up being some major problem. Huh? You fell asleep again? There really is nothing to do here. Huh, someone's here. Is it okay to be up, Kayla? Oh, it's Toma! I brought your insurance card by yesterday, but you were sleeping, so I left it with a nurse. You don't look as pale today. Seeing how your head isn't bandaged, I guess the injury wasn't too bad. But you do still seem pretty spaced out. Are you alright? Oh, right. I asked the nurse, but apparently the MRI machine is broken, so they can't take a scan today. She also asked that I let you get more rest. She said if I keep coming by, it'd be too much excitement for you and you'd have to stay longer. No, 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 please excite her. That's the number one thing her brain needs right now. Anyway, seeing how that's the case, I'll just go home for today. I'm glad I got to see your face. I feel a little better now. I'll come back tomorrow. See ya. Ah, our only source for memories just left. Ah, this is a real problem. At this rate, not only will you not be able to remember anything, you'll actually get worse. Let's leave this hospital as soon as I do that MRI tomorrow, Kayla. His character design just slays my life. He's so cute. August 3rd. This is bad. You aren't getting enough stimulation. And also, hey, Kayla, answer me. Hey. I thought this might happen, but I didn't expect it to get this bad. This isn't good. I thought you'd be able to get out of the hospital today. I'm sorry. They said the MRI would be fixed by tomorrow. We'll just have to wait and see for another day. I can't believe them. I sure hope they don't tell us to wait until tomorrow again. And to top it off, our last ray of hope, Toma. They said they won't be able to do any scans today either. They just asked that you try and get some rest. Just passed on that message and then left two minutes later. He should have stayed. He could have reminisced about old memories. Ah, sheesh. This environment is no good. The hospital's too dangerous. Let's go home tomorrow after the MRI scan is done, Kayla. It's also weird how we can't see Orion. And so early in the story. August 4th. Good morning. Today's the third day you've been in the hospital. And finally, on the third day, your condition has worsened enough that you can see me. Hey, it's been a while. It's nice that we can talk face to face again. Yep, yep. I bet if you weren't able to see my royal cuteness every day, things would be pretty dreary around here, right? Um, 
Ah, sorry. We were starting to separate, but then we ended up merging back together again. In other words, the memories that were returning to you have been locked away once again. If you don't get out of this hospital today, it'll be really bad. There haven't been any issues over the past three days, so I'm positive your injuries aren't having some terrible effect on you. That's why you should really insist on being released. It doesn't matter if they try to stop you. No issues with the MRI scan? Okay, everything looks good. You can leave the hospital this afternoon. Someone's coming to pick you up. Well then, they gave you the okay to leave pretty easily. We braced ourselves for nothing. And who's coming to pick you up? Your family? But nobody besides Toma showed up while you were hospitalized. Someone's here to pick you up. Make sure to stop by the nurse's station before you leave. Good morning. Are you up? Wow, so Toma really did come to pick you up. He's good at taking care of you. I'm grateful. But seeing as how your family didn't visit at a time like this, I'd hazard a guess that they live pretty far away. I asked about your test results. I had to lie and say I was family, though. They said the tests were negative of any issues, and that the injury on your head is light and should heal in two or three days. They also said your memory seemed to be a little hazy, so I should watch over you for a while. Apparently this happens pretty often to people who are involved in traffic accidents. They don't remember anything about the incident, so they recommend that I watch over you for about a week, and if you show no signs of improvement, they need to do a re-examination. Anyways, let's go home. I'll give you some time to get dressed. Just come out into the hallway when you're ready. It's finally time for us to leave the hospital. This is great. It's good that you have Toma around. We don't know the way back to your house or even your address. And it sounds like he and the doctor came up with their own reasons that your memories are a bit wonky right now. But we can't slack off. If we don't recover your memories quickly, you might be returned here. We need to avoid coming back here at all costs. Oh right, Toma's waiting for you. Hurry up and get ready. Then we can meet with him outside. One hour later. Is this your place? You're finally back home. This is good, really good. Let's check around once we're inside. We can check up on your family situation and friends. There might even be something that'll trigger your old memories. Now then, which one's your room? Oh, sorry. Could you wait here a minute? Huh? But, but, but he's gone. I thought you might have mail, but there wasn't anything in there. You could check later too if you want. Ah, he checked your mailbox for you. That's a very considerate. Wait, the mailboxes are right over there. Why couldn't the two of you just check together? Huh, I don't really get it, but maybe Toma's just a chivalrous kind of guy? We really don't know anything else about Toma besides the fact that he's one of your friends. I'm sure you're tired. I'll leave your stuff over here. Huh, so this is your room. It seems pretty basic. Doesn't look like there would be much information here. Oh, right, right, here. A cell phone. Your other one fell and broke, so I went ahead and got you a new one. If you don't like it, you can get a different one on your own. This one's just a temp. Huh? No way! Is it really alright for him to do something like this for you? He's so helpful! Thank you very much. No need to thank me. It wasn't a big deal. Still. This is the first time I heard you talk today. You're being pretty quiet. I guess you just aren't feeling like yourself? Ah, uh, that's exactly right, but you can't really tell him the truth. Also, why so formal? It's creepy. Just talk normally. Oh crap, right, he's a friend. There's no need to be so formal with him. Also, are you having a hard time remembering things too? Seeing how formal you are with me. Don't tell me you don't know who I am. Do you know whose house this is and how long you've been living here? I'm sure you'd remember basic things like that, but I'm getting worried now after seeing you so spaced out. So how much do you remember? Uh, that's kind of hard to answer. I don't remember much at all. What? Wait, is it really okay for you to answer so straightforwardly? You don't remember, really? You're not joking. You don't remember anything. You've got to be kidding. Your injury was that serious? Well, I guess it's no use talking about it. The doctor mentioned it might happen, and I'm sure you'll get better in two or three days. And if you don't, it's back to the hospital. I wonder which section you'll end up in next. Maybe even neurosurgery. Anywhere in the hospital would be bad. This is so problematic. Oh right, I still haven't told your mom or dad about any of this. I was wondering about whether I should tell them or not, but this is pretty important. I figured you should tell them yourself. But worrying them when they're overseas isn't good either. Overseas? 
That must mean your parents are working overseas and that you stayed behind alone. That would explain why they couldn't visit you when you're hospitalized. But anyway, I should probably contact Shin about this. Wait just a minute, I'll call him. Shin? Who's Shin? Hey Shin, it's me. You still awake? Kayla collapsed and hit her head, so she needed to be hospitalized for a while. Her memories are kind of hazy now, and she hasn't been acting normal since we left the hospital, so try not to call her for a while until she gets better. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, they did test. No, they were all negative. What? Oh, I see. Isn't that a little cold even for you? There's no need to worry. I'm looking after her. What do you mean? I thought you'd want to know, and that's why I called you. I said, hey, wait. Ugh, he hung up, that idiot. Oh, right. A message from Shin. He says, that klutz, idiot. Do you know who Shin is? I guess you wouldn't. Shin is a childhood friend, just like me. You've known him since kindergarten. He's a year below you. And I'm a year above you. Do you remember that, at least? Anyway, you, Shin, and I always played together. Until high school, at least. After that, we started going further apart. We moved, we went to college, we started living alone. Still, we all kept in contact. Our parents are all friends, so the three of us have been like siblings to each other. But... No, it's nothing. On the day you collapsed, I was on my way to your apartment complex to wait for you. We were planning to meet after a long time apart. When I saw you on the ground like that when I arrived, I was so shocked. So that's what happened. Yeah, I'd be shocked too. But it's fine now since you're okay. Mind if I have some coffee? I'll get some from the kitchen. You want some too, right? Huh, it looks like Toma knows his way around your house. He must have come here a lot before you lost your memories. Here you go. I put plenty of sugar in there. Who's that? Wait a second, I'll go check. Oh, it's you. So you decided on showing up after all. Come on in, I'll unlock the door. After all? Could that mean it's the Shin guy who he was talking to on the phone earlier? Shin's here, Kayla. What's this? You look perfectly fine. Why'd I even need to come here? What a waste. That's the first thing you have to say? Huh, so this is Shin. Toma said he's a year below you, right? She was hospitalized. You should show a little more concern. Well, it's not like I mind checking up on her. Just saying. So what happened? Were you just being an idiot and fell over? Or do you have low blood pressure or something? That's why I told you living alone isn't for you. Are you hurt? Did you injure anything beside your head? And what did you mean by your memories are hazy? Okay, that's enough. She doesn't need you interrogating her. She's barely even injured. They took an MRI. There should be no problem. She saw a ton of doctors in the hospital too, so the chance that they missed anything is nearly zero. And there's no point in telling her now that she shouldn't live alone. She's already here. Just have a seat for now. Is coffee alright with you? I don't like bitter things. You could at least make black tea with lots of sugar and milk. How old are you? More importantly, Toma. She was in the hospital all that time, and you waited until just now to contact me about it? It's like you hid this from me. It's ticking me off. I did hide this from you. I didn't want it to interfere with your exams. You've interfered plenty already. I've got another one tomorrow. What? Then why did you come here? Go home! It's a little late for that now. Whatever. I'll go home soon. But next time something like this happens, call me. Or text me or something. And I don't need you telling me to study. You're the one who told me this last minute. Okay, okay, I got it. Sorry about that. Anyway, she doesn't strike me as the type to die easily, even if she was killed. Um, you know, she isn't talking much at all. Uh-oh! She may still be recovering from the accident. The doctor said she should be back to normal in two or three days. Two or three days. And if not, you'll take her back to the hospital, right? Huh? Wait, no. Two or three days was just for the injury. Her memories need just a bit longer, please. Uh, it's not like they can hear me. It's no use getting so worked up like this. <sighs> she's just a bit spaced out, but it's not like she's behaving strangely otherwise, so don't worry. This is already strange enough. Is it really okay to leave her alone like this when she's so out of it? Should I stay over? What? What are you talking about? It's fine. I'd just be taking care of her. You realize we're not kids in kindergarten anymore, right? And I doubt she'd be able to get rest if two men were staying in this room with her. Oh, so it's two men now? What's your plan to make me go home and stay here yourself? I never said that. If you go home, I'll go home. Besides, you need to study. I can study here. You didn't bring anything with you. If your grades get shot because of this, I won't call you the next time anything happens. Oh, I see. I bet that was your plan all along. 
I don't mind if you think that. You know it's just common sense, Shen. So, what do you think, Kayla? Are you going to be okay on your own? I want Toma to stay. I'd love to do that, but... Hey, you just said men can't stay here. Don't you think of an exception to that now? Well, I'm sure someone would get mad. I'm not a dangerous person, but it would be unfair to try and exclude myself from that. You are a dangerous person, no matter how I look at it. I've been looking after you guys since we were kids. I can't get into it like that now with Kayla after all this time. Huh? What was that just now? There was a painful feeling in your chest for a moment. Kayla? Oh, were we sad because he said he wasn't into us? Text me if anything happens and I'll come running, okay? Anyways, we'll both get going now. I'm sure you're still worried, but I'll come by again tomorrow. Oh well, I guess that means I'm leaving too. Oh, also, I called your work and said you'd be taking today and tomorrow off. If you're okay to go the day after, I'll go with you. Work? You have a job too? Oh, this is bad. We don't have enough information at all. Anyway, see you tomorrow. Don't worry about anything. I'll take care of you. Yeah, yeah. I'm sure you're just happy that you get to act like an older brother again. Since he's offering, make sure to just really boss Tom around. I'm way too busy. See you later. Ah, this is bad. We managed to get home safely, but we only have three days to convince them. We need to gather information and reclaim your old memories before then. Somehow, I feel fulfilling those conditions is going to be really rough. If we can manage, you'll just have to pretend that they came back. Anyway, you should rest for today, and we'll get to work tomorrow. Interesting. August 5th. Good morning. How do you feel? Let's do our best to gather information today so that you can get your memories back as soon as possible. That said, seeing who your friends are is a good start. Let's check your cell phone. Let's see. Oh right, you got a new phone, and you don't have a call history or save messages. What about your contact books? Hmm, 208 entries. The contents are, hmm, Shen, Toma, Iki, Kent, Waka, Mine, Sawa, Rika. There are a lot of other names too. They're probably your friends or classmates. I'm not sure which of them you're closest to based off the names. It would be good to not assume you can just call up any of them. Oh, here's Dad, but you don't seem to have other family members recorded. Not sure what your family situation is. The rest are pretty varied. There are even entries like dentist and pizza place. It may be a good idea to visit those places listed here by name. But people are another issue. With just a name and number, you have no idea who you got along with really well. This is about all the information the cell phone can provide. Next, let's search the house. Maybe we should check the drawers and stuff first? Let's see. Ah, here's a notebook. What's in here? Uh, what's this? It says, May, in quite a few places. What does that mean? This is pretty suspicious. Oh, there's a memo written here. Let's see. Meet Iki at 2.30 in front of the station. Iki. Oh, there was an Iki listed in your contacts. Sounds like a man's name. Oh, he's here too. Meet Iki at Seichiyu. It looks like you met him pretty often over the last month. Meet Iki at Math Lab, meet Iki at Seichiyu. Could this Iki be your boyfriend? You've been seeing him a lot, that seems very possible. There's more. Meet Iki at the back alley, meet Iki at the back alley. Back alley, what? Back alley, why a back alley? Is that your meeting place? Or is there a cafe called the Black Alley? And there's the possibility that it's just a code word. A back alley, huh? Huh, is someone here? I see you're awake, good morning. Oh, it's Toma. He said he'd come in the morning yesterday, right? You don't look pale anymore, but did anything strange happen last night? I was worried. Ah, oh, I see. You should have called me then. I don't know if you're holding back, or you don't like me, but you're free to call me anytime. Anyway, won't it be bad if you don't go shopping soon? Your refrigerator's nearly empty. If we go now, I can help you carry the bags. What do you want to do? We should really take him up on this offer. We don't really know the city very well. Oh, wait a minute. Hey, about that back alley, maybe Toma knows where it is? Wanna ask him? But it would be weird to just ask him directly. Try to ask him in a natural way. I'd like to go to the back alley, please. Why so respectful? Sounds like you haven't fully recovered yet. Oh crap, you're supposed to be more casual with Toma. Anyway, what back alley? Could it be that back alley? It's back alley and not rear alley, right? 
Huh? What's the difference? Don't back alley and rear alley mean the same thing? Huh, oh well. If you want to go, I'll take you. Did you lose something there? That's not the case. We just figured we would reclaim some memories, right, Kayla? Anyway, I'll be waiting downstairs. Come outside when you're ready. Try to be done within 20 minutes. Ah, uh, 20 minutes is probably impossible, looking at your hair. <gasps> oh no! Do we have bedhead? Huh? Oh, he's right. Part of your bangs are sticking straight up. <laughs> Didn't you grow your hair out because short hair sticks up so easily like that? Yet you still manage to get bedhead somehow. How do you sleep? Looks like you still toss and turn. Oh well, don't worry about time. Just come outside when you're done. I'll wait. Well, let's go for a walk. But you sure are quiet. Is this because you bumped your head? It's because I bumped into her. I know I used to tease you and say you'd be cuter if you were quiet, but this is actually pretty unsettling. I feel like I'm looking at a well-made doll. It feels weird. You're cute, but I don't know. Seeing you so doll-like makes me feel kind of guilty. Guilty? No, that's not it. But it's not sympathy or discomfort either. Whatever it is, I just can't relax. I hope you get better soon. He definitely is a little creep sometimes. Huh, so there's a huge street like this within walking distance. Maybe the place you work is here too. That's not the right way, it's over here. Alright, we've arrived. Wait, here? It really is just an ordinary alley. This is the only place you can call the back alley. You call the alleys behind other buildings rear alleys. You gave this place a different name, so that's why I remembered. So what are you going to do here? What should we do? Kayla, can you remember anything? I thought it had some meaning, seeing as how you wrote it in that notebook. I guess you just don't have any particularly special memories in this place. Wait, what? I like him. I'm sure he doesn't see me as a normal girl at all. I've cried so many times because of it. But still, I really, really like him, so... This is you talking. When was this memory? Who are you talking to? Ah, right. This was in July. At that time, I... Someone was very important to me. Oh, whoa! My head's spinning. Kayla, Kayla, what's wrong? What happened? Kayla, are you okay? Hey, Kayla! Toma... Your face is totally pale. Is this the same as before? I need to get you to a hospital. Wait. Huh? Kayla, are you trying to talk? Kayla, what happened? Tell me. Did I like you, Toma? Ah! This one's getting so real so fast. I love it. Um. This isn't the time to be asking that. Please tell me. Um. Yeah, that's right. We were a couple. I thought it would confuse you, so I kept quiet. I'm sorry. A couple? So Toma liked me too. He saw me as a normal girl. I'm glad. Hey, Kayla, are you okay? Hey! August 6th. Okay, guys. After that crazy first six days... I'm going to go ahead and end it here. Toma's like so sweet and I want to like him, but he says some suspicious things sometimes. We'll have to see how it all pans out. And I hope you guys enjoyed this first episode of Diamond World. Let me know your thoughts below. Until next time, thanks for watching. Bye!